What's going on guys, Sassy here, welcome to Roblox, today we'll show you how to script anything in this game. So let's get start. So as you guys might already know, scripting is really complicated and you have a long way to go in order for you to master the scripting if you start from the very scratch. So this is gonna be a tutorial for beginners, you know. I mean, I won't go for further details on how to script in this game, I'll just show you the basics if you are a completely beginner and you don't know anything about scripting, then this video is for you. I'll show you the basics about scripting in this game and I might actually make a series about this. Like this video is going to be for the beginners in scripting so that you would understand what's going on I'll tell you the basics I'll tell you everything you need to know so that you would get started in the world of scripting in this game and maybe I'll do a series for this and the next video is going to be a little bit more advanced maybe I'll show you the next video or the third video how to print out scripts and all that stuff but yeah this video is completely 100% for beginners I'll just show you the basics so that you would understand what the hell is going on and you would be able to comprehend how scripting could possibly work you know this is just gonna be a starter you know this is just gonna be a completely 100% tutorial for beginners so that you would understand how scripting might work and all that stuff anyways yeah without further ado let's get right into showing you how to script anything in this game so uh, yeah let's get right to it so since this is a tutorial for beginners i might go all the way from the scratch and tell you how to get the roblox studio which is the one we're gonna script in so you need to go to roblox.com there we go the home of roblox then you need to go to develop and after that you need to click on the download link for roblox studio and after that you'll be able to download the program that you will use in scripting i don't need that because i already have it which is this one there we go so yeah that's basically the beginning on how to download roblox studio in the first place you know since this is a beginner tutorial then i thought i'd go all the way from the scratch and tell you how to get the program that you're gonna use in scripting you know now in order for you to know how to script in this game you need to understand exactly the components of the roblox studio everything in it you need to understand it very well so that you'll be able to script and design and do everything inside your game so let's start with this panel right there the explorer panel now i'm not gonna say that this is an important panel no this is everything like literally everything you need to have i mean not everything you need to have but this is the most important thing because the explorer panel is basically the home of everything inside the game anything in this game whether it's visible or not visible actually exists in the explorer panel so you can consider the explorer panel the home of everything in this game you know they live inside it they eat they drink they sleep inside it, they get married inside it, they have babies inside it, they retire and they die inside it, and they do everything in their life inside it. Now what this explorer panel consists of is a bunch of services. The workspace is a service, the players, the lighting, whatever, applicated, first replicate, storage, and I'm gonna to uh, talk to you about every single service of them right now. But first let's just understand what the hell is a service exactly. The service is basically something that helps make the game available and work for you. The service is just something that helps make the game works all these services live inside the explorer and this explorer lives inside an environment that we call the game all right so the game inside it is the explorer inside the explorer everything exists in it visible or not visible and everything inside it lives in it and that's what you need to know so basically the explorer is the foundation of everything in the game we use the word game in the scripting for example if we're gonna make a script that is related to the workspace service we're gonna write game dot workspace if we're gonna make a script that's related to to the player service then we'll write game dot player and that's how uh, that's how scripting is gonna work for the services so that's basically the first scripting lesson for you is that you will always need to write game before any service you need to script on now we've talked about the fact that explorer panel is where everything on the game lives in now let's talk about the workspace what's the difference between the workspace and the explorer panel the workspace exists inside the explorer panel and the workspace basically is everything in the game that's actually visible or seen by the eye for an example this machine right there and everything inside it even that little carpet right there you'll find it inside the workspace so yeah basically the workspace is everything that's visible inside the game other things other than the workspace are not visible for example the players they are not exactly objects or assets inside the game they are players same thing for the lighting it cannot exist inside the workspace because workspace is just basically the assets inside the game everything that's visible even if it's a single bar of the floor it will be inside the workspace okay moving on let's talk about the second most important panel inside the game which is the properties the properties basically is related to the workspace directly all right because it talks about every single asset inside the game which is visible so it relies in the workspace it tells all the properties about every single asset or block inside the game if you click on any block whatever it is it will tell every single property about it for example if we click on this throne right there it will tell you everything about it how 
much it costs, what's its name, what the hell is its color, everything about every single detail inside uh, the world that you live in will actually be described in the properties panel. Also you can change the properties, you can change the names, you can change the values, so this is very useful for you to control the game inside it and the trading and how much you're gonna pay for each trade and stuff. For example, as you can see I made buying the Iron Throne right here for a thousand dollars. I can change that in the properties, I will not, but uh, you get the idea. The interesting thing is that both in the Explorer panel and in the properties panel you can search stuff in them. So yeah, that's very useful for you to make uh, work easier. Moving on, let's go to that bar up there. That bar is extremely useful in the work as well. If you go to the view bar, you'll find a bunch of scripting panels. Each scripting panel of them gives information about a script. In my opinion, the only three scripting panels that you will need be opened while you're working is the output, the script analyzes, and the command bar. You won't need more than that. Let's talk about the output a little bit. The output is extremely important because it shows everything printed by the scripts. For example, if you write a certain script and you try to print it out, it will print back into it showing if it's right or wrong. So yeah, it's extremely helpful to see whether your script is failing or succeeding and that's obviously very important. Oh, I forgot to mention an extremely useful object right here which is the tutorials. It actually gives you tutorials on how to use uh, the Roblox Studio but it's a little bit complicated so uh, yeah, it will be better for you to actually follow instructions from videos and stuff because, you know, it will be more clear now let's talk about the toolbox which is obviously an extremely important panel in the studio. It helps you grab any asset from the Roblox website. For an example, let's type here Pokemon right there, there we go. And here's Pikachu, you can simply grab him and put him anywhere inside your world. It doesn't really matter, you can place him anywhere. So yeah, obviously the toolbox is an extremely important panel in the studio because it allows you to insert anything from Roblox website, if it exists of course. Other important options you need to know about is obviously the select move scale and rotate obviously the scale is very important to scale your game there is even a more advanced scaling technique in the studio which allows you to scale it uh, depending on the device that you want to scale on for example an iPhone or a TV or whatever but that's about scaling the entire game but this scale right there only scales the certain object that you are working on okay now let's move on to the model tab first of all you have this advanced objects right here in which you can control all the objects that exist within the game you can also insert a model from the computer and you can even insert an extra service so yeah obviously the model tab plays a very important role in scripting but one of the most important uses for the model tab is inserting the scripts themselves for an example this script right there you can also insert local scripts not just regular scripts and you can even insert module scripts so this is obviously very important and useful for you to write scripts all right let me show you an example of a simple script this is a script for kick also what you want to write is p equals game the player and then two dots and write the name of your workspace and after writing the name of your workspace for example let's say that the name of my workspace is acer doesn't really matter but the name of your workspace is what should be written here then two brackets right there then for i okay this is supposed to be a hashtag but uh, my keyboard is kind of weird it doesn't really do what it's supposed to do never mind then pi here we write the class name equals remove and two brackets and after that end it with an end so yeah this basically a script to remove everyone in the room to kick them all anyways i'm not here today to teach you about the scripts i'm just teaching you about the basics but what i want you to know is that if you for example insert a regular block right here you can actually control it fully 100 percent with scripts and with the workspace and everything and remember when i mentioned that everything visible inside the game is inside the workspace well this is the part that i just inserted which is the block and it relies inside the workspace as you can see all right the last thing i want you to know is about this terrain obviously it controls the surface of the ground the test right here is very useful because like i said before it's an advanced scaling option you can actually scale your entire world into for example an iphone like this one or whatever this is an iphone 7 scale so yeah it's very useful to use this test so that you would emulate it in other devices whether it's an iphone or an ipad or whatever or a tv screen whatever of your choosing and you can find all the options right here and you can choose whatever you want for example let's go for an ipad 2 there we go let's go for a desktop computer as you can see and let's go for an xbox one i don't think there is for playstation 4 it only exists in xbox one and any other devices iphone 4s even so yeah this is an extremely useful option that you can use to test your game after you're done scripting it of course the view is allowing you to open any panel of your choosing there's also
also the plugins I don't want you to worry about this now so uh, yeah I think I covered everything I want to talk about in this video so like I said guys this is just a tutorial for beginners and I'm just getting started but I might actually turn this into a series and every video I'm gonna talk about more advanced stuff than the first time it just depends on how this video will do really I will see how this video will do and if people like it then I will make a bunch of tutorials showing you how to uh, script and go a little bit more further into details but yeah what I showed you right here are just the basics into scripting so that if you are a complete beginner that know nothing about scripting then yeah this is a good starter for you so yeah that's how you script anything in this game for beginners and that's all that's what i see guys later bye